My name is Pepper, Thank the you, humanoid Pepper. companion robot created by SoftBank Robotics. Hey, Pepper, and hello, everyone, and welcome. I am Michael Gorman, Editor-in-Chief of Engadget. And uh, Executive Editor Christopher Trout, and I know why we're here, but what are you doing here, Pepper? Well, as an assistive robot, my job is to help humans and make their lives easier. I guess you could say I'm going to assist you and Michael stay on topic. Okay, that's fair. We probably need some chaperoning. Um, but watch and learn, Pepper. We've got this. You just worry about your part, and we'll do our part. You do the categories, and we got the winners, Pepper. Sure, but don't forget my other important part, celebratory dance moves. Yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll get to do those soon enough. But now it's time to do your job, so what's up first? Our first category is for best startup. This is the startup showing great sophistication and innovation while also demonstrating a clear path to real-world availability. The finalists are Owlette Smart Baby Booty, Hackaball Connected Toy, no. Life Fuel Smart Water Bottle, and Carbon Robotics Katya Robot Arm. Cool. And the winner is Owlet. All right, congratulations. Congratulations. The next category will be for best digital health and fitness product. So for those that don't know, this is a product exhibiting the most innovative use of technology to improve users' health and well-being. We're talking about smart scales, activity monitors, stuff like that. The finalists for 2016 are the Fitbit Blaze smartwatch, the Misfit Ray activity tracker, the Oh My Bod Love Life Crush connected Kegel exerciser, and the Wythings Go fitness tracker. And the winner is the Love Life Crush. Way to go. The next category will be for best wearable technology. This is, believe it or not, the best gadget that you can wear. Examples include smartwatches, augmented, augmented reality glasses. I think you guys get the point. Yeah. Uh, so the finalists here are We Things Go Fitness Tracker, Casio's WSD 510 smartwatch. F F10. It's a good name. Oh, did Catchy. I say five? Yeah. Pardon me. F10. Wisewear's Socialite Personal Safety Alarm, and the Recon Empire EVS Paintball Heads Up Display. What a mouthful. Yeah, that is a mouthful. And the winner is the Recon Empire EVS. The next category will be for best automotive technology. So this is technology related to the ever advancing science of getting from here to there. And you know, we've seen a lot more car companies coming to see us lately. It is kind of crazy, a much right? more important part of the show than ever before. I feel like every year it's more and more autos. It is. And this year, the finalists for the Best of CS 2016 award for automotive are the Chevy Bolt electric car, the Faraday Future F01 concept platform, the Volkswagen Buddy fast charging technology, and the GoGoRo Go Charger. And the winner is the Chevy Bolt. Chevy Bolt. Congratulations. The next category will be for best home theater product. This award is all about home entertainment. Also entertainment in your home. Correct. The These kinds of things that are entertaining in your home right. are what we're talking about. Probably things that you plug in as well. Yeah, sometimes. So we're talking about TVs and audio systems and that sort of thing. Yes. The finalists are a real mouthful because apparently when you're doing this sort of thing, you really want to use a lot of numbers and yeah, letters. Yeah, the AV world is not the best at, at naming their products, I think. We have the Philips Fidelio E6 speaker, the Audio-Technica, and this is the big one, ATLP60 BT wireless turntable. Thank you. Well done. Dish Hopper 3 and the Dish Hopper Go. And the winner is 
Phillips Fidelio E6. E6. This is some pretty dope speakers. That's what I heard. Get it? I heard it. Uh, you did hear it. The next category will be for best connected home product. So this is a product that belongs in a connected home. What? I know, we're blowing minds here with these descriptions. <laughs> so we're talking smart refrigerators, connected thermostats, smart lighting, all kinds of things that connect all of the internet of things together. That's one smart home. Yeah, real, real smart. <laughs> so the finalists for this category are the Cassia Hub Bluetooth router, the Natatmo Presence outdoor security camera, and the LG SmartThink Hub. And the winner is... The Cassia Hub! Congratulations. The next category will be for best innovation. This is the product or service that challenges the status quo with its innovative twist on technology. The finalists are the unique, spelled very uniquely. It is. Typhoon H drone with Intel RealSense technology. The Ehang 184 personal transport drone, and that thing is crazy. It is. It's a pod, flying pod. And Volkswagen's Bud E fast charging technology. Who's it gonna be? And the winner is BW's Bud E fast charging technology. All right. <laughs> The next category will be for best mobile device. So this is one that probably no one is familiar with. Uh, phones and tablets. That's what I've we're talking about here, this. phones and tablets. So we're talking about, we're judging this based on specs, design, and overall capability of these devices. The finalists are the Huawei Mate 8 and the Le TV Le Max Pro. Is that a French phone? I don't, I don't think so, I think it's actually Chinese. Okay. I may have butchered that pronunciation. Regardless, the winner is the Huawei Mate 8. Congratulations. Awesome. The next category will be for best TV product. This is the television that is deemed the best in terms of display, design, and overall quality or the product that most revolutionizes your use of that screen. Okay. And I thought the last category I pronounced... TVs are the worst. Oh, my God. Their man. names are... It's a jumble of At least they throw letters. some dashes in here. <laughs> yeah. So you know where to pause. Right. <laughs> the finalists are Sony's XBR X930D 4K TV. Well done. Thank you. LG's G6 OLED Ultra HD TV. Yeah. Panasonic's DX900 Ultra HD TV, and TCL's Roku 4K TV. That's and nice. the winner is the LG G6. Like a G6. What? what? Feeling fly. Congrats. The next category will be for best gaming product. So this is the category that we award to the product that best moves forward the broad field of gaming. And how broad is that field? It's getting broader all the time. So we're talking about mobile devices, we're talking about game consoles, controllers, VR headsets. And I feel like this year we ran into some like real world kind of gaming stuff, not just we did. on the computer stuff. Oh yeah, it's I mean, real world with VR. This is but... the magic of VR. So the finalists are HTC's Vive Chaperone VR technology, the Razer Blade Stealth Laptop, and the Recon Empire EVS Paintball Heads-Up Display. Now that's that what last I was talking about. That's unusual because this is not digital gaming. We're talking about paintballs. Right. Because that's a game too. Although there is digital technology involved. It is a heads-up display. Of course. Of course. But it's not a digital game. Right. It's a real game. Best watch your back. You can get capped. Yeah. So the winner is... HTC's Vive Chaperone. Okay. 
Pepper keeps on stepping all over people's lines. I you know, know what I'm man. Saying? Pepper's getting antsy for the limelight. You know. The next category will be for best offbeat product. This is this is where I thrive. The yeah. offbeat stuff. <laughs> this is this is home for you. This is your wheelhouse. So this is the product that turns heads on the international CES show floor without necessarily fitting into any other product category. Sure. Uh, that may not be the best of the best of the show, but it was one of the ones that everybody was talking about. Yes. And we've seen some really crazy stuff this year. We have. Uh, not as crazy as some of the stuff we've seen in past years, maybe. Because uh, some of them are pretty bizarre, uh, you know. We don't have a connected fork, for example. No, no connected fork, no creepy-looking mother-looking thing. Do you remember that? The little snowball peanut. Lo that was weird. I do. Yeah. The finalists in this category are pretty weird, though. They are very weird. The Ninebot Segway Robot, the Conceptor Soul Time Tracker, the Ehang 184 Human Delivery Drone. Pretty weird. Yep. And the E-Sensory Smart Sex Toy. And the winner is the Ehang 184. Human transport drones are the future. Ghost drone. Yeah. Great idea. The next category will be for best maker-friendly technology. So what we're talking about here are products that are geared towards you know DIY and the maker community. So we're talking 3D printers, Arduino type circuit boards, those kinds of things. So laser cutters. You know it. Mm -hmm. Cutting stuff with lasers is what making stuff is all about. So the finalists are the Lego Education We Do 2.0 Robotics Kit, the Glowforge 3D Laser Printer, Cutter, Engraver, and the Zero Robotics Kit. And the winner is Lego We Do 2.0. What? Everybody loves Legos. And they aren't here to accept their award. And Pepper will be accepting the award on behalf of Lego today. We'll hold that for Lego. Or we can ship it to him later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well played, Pepper. She's just not mad at it. She's like, nope. That's not, that's not gold enough for yeah. her. Yeah. Congratulations. The well next done. category will be for best PC. Y'all know what PCs are? No. What are PCs? Uh, it's... PC stands for personal computing in this okay, case. Okay, that's good, thank you. Mm -hmm. That includes laptops, desktops, and other such Convertibles, PCs. everything in between. And these are based off of design, innovation, and specifications. Yeah, so they gotta have horsepower to make it happen. True. Yeah. The finalists in this category are the Lenovo Yoga 900S, the Samsung Tab Pro S, Intel's Compute Stick, and the Razorblade Stealth Gaming Laptop. And the winner is Razorblade Stealth. Had a little fun with that one. Yeah, it is. We've seen these guys before. We have. Every year. Razor always does cool stuff. Congratulations. The next category is my personal favorite. For obvious reasons, can you guess what it is? I'm going to go out on a limb, Pepper, and say best robot? Shocker. It's best robot or best drone. Mm-hmm. I, I thought so. That's kind of insular of you. But I'll cut you some slack, Pepper. So it's drones and robots, autonomous things, things you can control that walk around and fly. The finalists. Stuff like our beautiful co-host, yes, Pepper here. Pepper, thank you. Are you a robot, Heather? Yeah. I, I guess start? I missed that part. Yeah. You are pretty efficient, though. Yeah. Did you step out of Blade Runner, Heather? <laughs> so the finalists for the best robot or drone are Unique's Typhoon H drone with Intel RealSense technology, the Ehang 184, and the Nixie wrist-worn drone. Drone heavy category this year. Yep. And the winner is the Unique Typhoon H. Wait, the robot. And it appears that a robot will be accepting the robot award because the other robot wasn't here to pick it up. Slacking. Give me it. <laughs> you want it, Pepper? You want you want the robot even award? You didn't, even though you didn't earn it, you just come and get it. We'll 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 hold it for you backstage, Pepper. It's weird. You the second you try lighter. to the second you try to give her an award, her arms start stop working. Yeah, it's funny. Alligator arms. All right, let's get back the to it, Pepper. The next category will be for best of the best award. 
This is the device, service, or technology in any category that stands clearly above the rest, judged based on its innovation and design quality. It's the top gun. This is the big one, y'all. Yeah. I can't believe you made me say that. Yeah, you're welcome. And the best in show goes to... The Chevy, Chevy Bolt! Bolt. Well done, Chevrolet. They already left. And this is uh, this is Olivia from AOL. She's picking up Except the Chevy on Bolt. behalf of Chevy. Very cool. Very good. Best of the best. Olivia really is the best of the best. She though. is. Thank you, Olivia. Well done. The next category will be for People's Choice Award. So this is the one that the people want. That's what they said. Yeah. And we're all about giving the people what they want. This is a product that captured the hearts and minds of our readers. And of course, the winner is determined by all you folks at home and anyone here in the audience that was kind enough to vote. So this year, the winner is the Razor Blade Stealth. Unbelievable! Well done. They win it every year. <laughs> How do you do it? Razor has the people's ear, clearly. I think we're about to have some uh, shenanigans. Yeah, razor shenanigans. This may be the first year where. Oh, well hey, done. Get well it. Well done. Congratulations, Pepper. I don't know if Pepper knows how to high five, but she's dancing around for you. She's excited. Pepper, Pepper's she's over. She's excited for you. Wow, I'm impressed. I wasn't sure if you two could do it, but this was a really great show. That's some serious shade, Pepper. Mm hmm. I know it was a great show, Pepper. Anyway, I'm happy that we could have been here to show you up today. Yeah. And that's right. You're welcome for making you look good, Pepper. That's what we're here for. We made you look good. And thank you to everyone watching at home and everyone here at CES in person. And a special thanks go out to everyone who voted for the People's Choice Award. We thank you all. That's all we've got for the best of CES 2016. We will see you next year. Cheers to 2016, y'all. Thank you, Las Vegas. Salud.